Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to install Windows on your HP ZBook Firefly 14. And let's begin with why would you install Windows in the first place. So um, it may be due to you not having any system on your laptop. You also might have forgotten the password and weren't able to restore it. Then you can install Windows. Of course, it will erase all the data. So it's better to try to restore your password instead of just going and installing it at the first try. First, try restoring it. But if you just can't, then you should install Windows, right? Uh, then also, if something's corrupted, you may want to install Windows um, so it works perfectly fine or for any other reason, feel free to do it. And uh, you will need uh, at least one thing, but most probably two things. So uh, you will need a USB drive that's at least eight gigabytes, but I'd recommend it being 16. Then another thing is if you don't have access to your system right now, then you'll need a, another U Windows device so you can use it to create the USB bootable drive on it. Um, so you can just borrow it from someone and it has to have internet access so you can download the files for Windows. And let's begin with downloading these files. So uh, if you go to a browser, I'm going to configure it because I haven't opened it yet. And you may notice that I'm using the HP ZBook, but at this moment you should be using this other device that you'll use to create the bootable drive on. And let's search for Windows 11 ISO. The ISO file is the file that lets you create the bootable drive. Um, I'm just gonna double check my Wi-Fi and yes, I'm connected to the wrong one. Um, okay, and now let's find the Microsoft website. Um, I can't really see it in English, so I'm just gonna like change the language pretty quickly. Okay, and now let's just scroll down until you find Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO for X64 devices. Select Windows 11 and click on Download Now. Then select the product language and make sure to select the correct one because even if you change it later, it will still uh, persist in some places so you, you'd most likely ha won't have it the way you want it to have. <laughs> and now let's go to another website while we're in the process of downloading, which is going to be Rufus.ie. You can see it right here at the top. It says Rufus.ie and now scroll down. Uh, most probably you'll need to get this first option. If it won't, if it won't work, then it'll probably prompt you about it. So don't worry about it. But in most cases the first one should work. Now I'm gonna open that file. Of course there's still quite some time to go but you know it's it's worth just having it opened already and I'm gonna get back to you when um, that other file is downloaded. And the file was just downloaded. So all you need to do is in the Rufus tool, first select the device, uh, which is gonna be your, your, your USB drive and make sure you select the correct one. If you don't know which one to choose, if you have lots of them on the list, just unplug all the other drives so you can make sure that you select the right one because it will erase all the data on that drive. Now let's select the ISO image. So just click on select on the right side and select the file. Most probably it'll be in the, in the downloads folder, but if it's somewhere else, just point to it yourself. Um, I'm gonna open that up and now wait a moment. It'll scan the image um, <clears throat> to just like learn a few things about it. Now I can simply click on start I'm gonna unselect these options, but it does not really matter. And click on OK. Then click on OK again. And wait until it finishes. I'm gonna get back to when that's done. And now it's done. It says it's ready on a green background. So uh, we 
are able now to move on to our HP ZBook. So you should simply just plug the drive, unplug the USB drive from the other device, plug it into the HP ZBook, and if your HP is currently on, shut it down. So I'm gonna do that. And once it's shut down, make sure that the drive is plugged in and wait for up to half a minute to make sure that uh, the laptop is fully off if you were shutting it down. Then, um, once all of that is done, uh, press on the power button shortly and immediately after releasing it, start repeatedly pressing on escape key on your keyboard until the HP logo appears, then disappears. Then you can stop uh, repeatedly pressing on escape. I'm gonna do that right now. Now wait a moment, it may take like half a minute as well. Now using arrows, select boot menu and click on enter. Then select the generic USB or like whatever that says USB. Most probably it should work. And now wait until it boots to Windows 11 installation uh, menu. It may take a moment as well. And now um, it's booted, so you I'm gonna check if the touchpad works because I have an external mouse so that's why the cursor was working but yeah the touchpad doesn't work so I'm gonna provide instructions how I use the keyboard uh, in order to do everything because I don't uh, require you to have an external mouse right uh, so uh, with the tab key on your keyboard um, this is the key that's on the left side of uh, Q letter on most of keyboard layouts or A letter on French layouts. It's just, uh, you know, the third key from the top on the very left side of the keyboard. And use that tab key to move between sections of items. I don't know if you can see it well, but now I have the language to install selected. If I click on tab again, now I have time and currency format selected and if I use the arrows, I'm changing the value. I'm not gonna change anything here, just let's click on tab until next is selected and click on space. Mm, then you can change the keyboard or input method the same way, clicking on tab until you're pointing on the field next to keyboard or input method. By the way, if you go too far, you don't need to click on sh uh, click on tab so many times that you go back to that place. You can just click on shift and tab to go back to the previous select uh, selection. And you can of course change it with arrows. Now either click on enter or point to next and click on space. Then um, uh, you can see that A letter in the agreement when it says I agree everything will be deleted in agree A letter is underlined. In your language, if it's a different language, a different letter might be underlined. So just mind which letter is underlined. And um, you don't need to use the tab to like go to that, then click on space. You can instead just click on Alt on your keyboard and the letter that's underlined. In my case, it's A. And if your right alt doesn't work, the alt gear, sometimes it's marked as alt gear. If this does not work, try using the left alt, left alt and A in my case. Now you can see that next button also has N letter underlined. So I'm clicking on left alt and N to go to next. Now wait a moment and accept the agreement. In order to accept it, simply uh, you can see a letter is underlined, so Alt A. And now we're getting to disks selection. And um, 
we will have disk 0 which may have several partitions and disk 1. On disk 1 I can see that partition 1 is CCCOMA and this is like the name that we had for the USB drive. You might have noticed it in the Rufus tool. So we shouldn't like touch this disk 1. Just don't do anything here. But with this 0, I'd highly recommend deleting all the partitions. So what you can do is point on partition 1, then while it's selected, uh, click on Alt D or whatever uh, is underlined under Delete Partition. You can see right here, I have the D underlined. So let's click on Alt D or whatever else letter you have underlined, of course. Let's click on LD now with partition 1. Of course, like the names are changing. Um, just delete all the partitions uh, until you have only disk 0 unallocated space. And that's what we're going to select. So let's do that. Now you can see it's all done. So let's click on Alt N while disk 0 is on blue background. And this is our selection where to install Windows 11. Now uh, click on uh, uh, install. So in my case, I is underlined Alt I and wait until it gets installed. Your PC may and probably will restart several times. Also, the screen may flash. Don't worry about that. Just don't unplug your uh, laptop from charging. Don't turn it off. Uh, and just like don't do anything make sure it's plugged into charging so it doesn't turn off automatically if it loses power and wait I'm gonna get back to when all of that is done and now it's installed so let's start with the setup and at first we'll need to select the country or region so that's what i'm gonna do um just you know select it click on enter then keyboard layer or input method click on enter now you can either add layout uh, or skip it i'm gonna skip it um, and now let's connect to the network so all you need to do is use the arrows to select the correct network then click on tab twice space to click on connect then enter the password and click on enter once it's connected click on tab to go to next and uh, click on space or enter Now it'll start checking for updates and, it, and most probably it'll find some and if it does then it's really good that it does. So don't click on anything, just wait until it starts installing them. Your PC may restart even up to a few times but most probably just once and uh, later on it'll just go to the next step. You aren't involved, involved in all of this, just wait and it'll be done and we'll continue with further steps of course. Okay, so now as the update is done, you can rename your device, but I'm going to skip it. I'm going to check if the touchpad works now because it probably does. No, it does not yet. So um, I'm just going to continue uh, with the keyboard. I'm going to skip it because uh, renaming the device requires me to restart the computer. I don't want to do it now. Now uh, select personal use, mm, like for work is cool. It doesn't ask you for the purpose of using the computer. Instead, it, it asks you like for the owner of the device. So like if you're a personal owner, then you probably need to set it as personal use. Of course, using tabs, space and stuff. Now it'll start checking for Windows updates again. And I have the highest hopes to actually find some updates because they will get pretty handy, especially with a touchpad. I hope it installs it now. 
And this update, by the way, may take longer than the previous one, so get ready for that. Um, and as usual, I'll just get back to when it's done. And now after the update is installed, you can simply connect to the Microsoft account. Um, so let's do that. Why not? It's mandatory, by the way. Of course, if you really need, then you can watch a video on our channel on how to set, uh, set up the laptop without the Microsoft account, but it requires some workarounds. Um, so if you don't, don't really care, just log in, you know, you can create the account, by the way. Uh, if you need that, I hope I've entered the password correctly and will be finishing shortly. Uh, now you can uh, set up their face recognition if you wish. You can also set up their fingerprint. It's right here. It's all up to you. Uh, I'm gonna set up the face recognition uh, because why not? So let's click on set up, then look straight into the camera. I hope it recognizes me. Okay, I'm all set, so let's click on next. And now create the pin so you can easily log in to your uh, account. So you need to have some sort of a form of security. By the way, you could have also clicked on include letters and symbols. And I haven't checked if the touchpad is working. So yeah, it is. Sorry about that. Now I'm just gonna click on next. Uh, I highly recommend uh, reading these on your own and actually unselecting those that you don't like. Um, you know, your telemetry data to be stored or something like that. Um, now a few finishing steps uh, like some bloatware or subscriptions. Of course, I'm gonna decline most of them, but I guess all of them, but we'll see about that. Uh, I'm gonna skip the customizing experience because it doesn't do anything. Then um, I'm also gonna skip uh, connecting my phone to the PC. I don't really care about that. Uh, but feel free to do it, of course, if you wish. Um, and I'm also gonna skip moving my data from my previous browser. And then I'm gonna decline the Microsoft 365. I don't wanna pay one $130 uh, dollars a year and I also don't want don't want to pay two dollars a month I don't really want it so if I wanted it I, I'd search for it myself I guess he doesn't have to ask me that and I'm also gonna skip the game pass and we're set up and everything is done and have a good time with your laptop consider liking and subscribing to the channel and see you in the next one